What Meghan Markle was like before the fame. Before she stole Prince Harry's heart, Meghan Markle played the part of ambitious paralegal Rachel Zinn in user suits. In 2017, she walked away from her breakout role to walk down the aisle and become British royalty. But what was she like before all the fame and fortune? From her feminist ideals at age 11 to that stint on a game show that she'd rather not talk about, here is Markle's once upon a time. She was a Catholic schoolgirl. Markle fell in love with acting at the Immaculate Heart or Girls Catholic High School in Los Angeles. She starred in several school productions, including Damn Yankees, before graduating in 1999. A former schoolmate told People, Meghan was really charismatic and was a very hard worker and very focused and you could tell she was going to do something special with her life. She had the talent and focus to back it up and you could tell she knew the work it would take and she was willing to put in the work. When news of her engagement broke in November 2017, Immaculate Heart was bombarded by reporters. They've been scaling the walls, school communication director Crowley Webb told the Catholic Spirit. Nevertheless, the institution is proud of its alumna. Over 10,000 women of great heart and right conscience have graduated from Immaculate Heart, and we are proud to count actress and humanitarian at Meghan Markle among them, the school tweeted. Today, we send her our very best wishes as she celebrates her engagement to His Royal Highness Prince Harry. She grew up around television. It seems Markle was destined to be on TV. After all, she's been around it her entire life. Markle's father was a lighting director and director of photography for Fox's girl classic, Married, with children. Every day after school for 10 years, I was on the set of Married, with children, which is a really funny and perverse place for a little girl in a Catholic school uniform to grow up, she told Esquire. There were a lot of times my dad would say, Meg, why don't you go and help with the craft services room over there? This is just a little off-color for your 11-year-old eyes. She became a feminist at age 11 because of dish soap. In 1995, Markle saw a commercial for ivory clear dishwashing liquid with the tagline, Women all over America are fighting greasy pots and pans. That day, a feminist was born. Two boys from my class said, yeah. That's where women belong in the kitchen, Markle said at the 20th anniversary of the Beijing Women's Conference, per the Washington Post. I remember feeling shocked and angry and also just feeling so hurt. It just wasn't right and something needed to be done. Her father encouraged her to write letters and that she did, mailing notes to First Lady Hillary Clinton and to powerhouse attorney Gloria Earl Ray. Her efforts appeared to pay off. It was roughly a month later when the soap manufacturer, Procter & Gamble, changed the commercial for their ivory clear dishwashing liquid. From, women all over America are fighting greasy pots and pans to, people all over America, Markle said. It was at that moment that I realized the magnitude of my actions. At the age of 11, I had created my small level of impact by standing up for equality. She's a political activist and humanitarian. Much like Harry's mother, Princess Diana, Markle is a humanitarian and staunch advocate for those less fortunate around the world. During her senior year at Northwestern University, she interned with foreign services in Argentina. I ended up working in the embassy in Buenos Aires for a few months, she told Marie Claire. It was their economic devaluation and our secretary of the treasury at the time, Paul O'Neill, was there, so I'm 20 years old, in Buenos Aires, in a motorcade, doing that whole thing. I thought for sure I would still have a career in politics. And when she's not rubbing shoulders with Canadian Prime Minister Justin Trudeau at One Young World Summit, she's an ambassador for the World Vision Clean Water Campaign. The contrast between communities that do and do not have access to clean water had a great impact on me, she says on the World Vision website. 
one borehole can bring life-giving water to as many as 500 people. I'm on a mission to build wells in Africa and I'm asking each of you to join me and see how many wells we can build together. Her first speaking role was opposite Viola Davis. Although her first on-screen appearance was as a background nurse on a 2002 episode of the daytime soap General Hospital, Markle's first speaking role was in Cubs short-lived science fiction legal drama Century City in 2004. Acting alongside Lost's Nestor Gamble and Oscar winner Viola Davis, Markle made the most of her line. Everybody raise a glass. She was a briefcase girl on Deal or No Deal. From 2005 to 2009, there was no escaping NBC's hit game show Deal or No Deal, and if you happened to catch an episode in 2008, you might have glimpsed Markle smiling through her pain. I would end up standing up there forever in these terribly uncomfortable and inexpensive 5-inch heels just waiting for someone to pick my number so I could go and sit down, she told Esquire. Definitely working on Deal or No Deal was a learning experience and it helped me to understand what I would rather be doing. So if that's a way for me to gloss over that subject, then I will happily shift gears into something else. She did freelance calligraphy between acting jobs. While a struggling actor trying to pay the bills, Markle did a little bit of everything, including calligraphy for Robin Thicke and Paula Patton's wedding, and Dolce and Gabbana celebrity holiday correspondence. I would sit there with a little white tube sock on my hand so no hand oils got on the card, trying to pay my bills while auditioning, she told Esquire. I'm glad that in the land of no one seeming to appreciate a handwritten note anymore that I can try to keep that alive. But how much does it pay? Oh, it's super lucrative. Because there are so few people doing it, Markle said. What's funny is I probably still have some calligraphy business cards floating out in the world and I can't wait for someone to call me in a month or something and say, can you do these for my son's bar mitzvah? We get the feeling she won't be asked to do the invitations for her wedding. She had a provocative turn on 90,210. Shortly after her appearance on Deal or No Deal, Markle appeared in the CW Steen drama 90,210 in 2008. It was, shall we say, interesting. According to Vulture, Markle was a messy b asterisk asterisk ch who lived for the drama in a two-part arc of the 90,210 reboot. Her very first scene was giving a guy a NSFW act in a car, and she continues to wreak havoc on these high school students' romantic entanglements until her quick departure. Being biracial hurt her career. In a 2015 essay for LUK, Markle wrote about creating her identity and finding her voice as a mixed-race woman. By being biracial, her father is white and her mother is African-American, Markle thought being ethnically nondescript would help her land roles. Unfortunately, she said that wasn't the case. Being ethnically ambiguous, as I was begged in the industry, meant I could audition for virtually any role. Morphing from Latina when I was dressed in red, to African American when in mustard yellow. My closet filled with fashionable frocks to make me look as racially varied as an 80s Benetton poster, she wrote. Sadly, it didn't matter. I wasn't black enough for the black roles and I wasn't white enough for the white ones, leaving me somewhere in the middle as the ethnic chameleon who couldn't book a job. Markle felt like her role on users critically acclaimed suits was created specifically for her. The show's producers weren't looking for someone mixed, nor someone white or black for that matter. They were simply looking for Rachel, she said. In making a choice like that, the suits producers helped shift the way pop culture defines beauty. She was written off her hit show. Suits creator Aaron Kish apparently knew true love when he saw it. Realizing Markle and Prince Harry's relationship was blossoming, the decision was made to write her character off the show. Just in case royal duties called. I knew from a year ago that this relationship was burgeoning. 
and I had a decision to make because I didn't want to intrude and ask her, hey what's going on and what are you going to do? So collectively with the writers, we decided to take a gamble that these two people were in love and it was going to work out, Kirsch told Radio 4's Today via BBC News. What we decided to do was to say, look, I would rather have good things happen to Megan in her life which would likely mean her leaving the show. So let's plan on that and it's much easier to undo that if it came to it than to just plan on her staying forever and then finding out she's going to go. When asked if Markle would be able to handle the spotlight of royal life, Kirsch left no doubt. She is just a natural in front of the camera, and her intelligence and poise. I mean if anyone could handle it I'd say it was Meghan.